When we talk about natural selection, we talk about something known as Darwinian fitness, or simply fitness. And that is simply a measure of the number of offspring that are produced um, by individuals that have a given genotype. So these blue-eyed cats, they on average produce three offspring, or so I'm saying. In fact, so I'm saying that these are even cats, right? They're just cats' heads. And if those three individuals then have three individuals, in this generation here, we now have nine individuals. Whereas these green-eyed cats are producing only two successful offspring per generation. And so they have only four individuals that are produced after these two generations go by. So we would describe the fitness, and in fact, the absolute fitness of these individuals here as being three, which simply means that each individual in the population gives rise to three offspring whereas these would have an absolute fitness of two. We also have a, a term called relative fitness, which is simply taking one of these fitnesses, setting it to one, and adjusting the other one so that uh, it's whatever the relative size is um, compared to that one. So two is, is, is two-thirds the size of three. And therefore, if we set the relative fitness of this group to one, we would say the relative fitness of this group is uh, 0.67, or two-thirds. It's often difficult to figure out absolute fitnesses, and this is in part because populations don't tend to always be increasing in size. And therefore, it's easier often to figure out relative fitnesses, because if you have a population, and in that population over time, the frequency of the green eye allele is slowly going down at some constant rate, um, that tells you that the relative fitness of the green eye allele is lower um, than that of the um, blue eye allele. In fact, what you would see in that progression is that with each generation, the frequency of the green eye allele would be the equivalent of two-thirds smaller. Each generation, these guys would be making three, and these guys would be making two mm -hmm. offspring. And so you'd get this gradual decline, in fact, not so gradual in the frequency of the green eye alleles. But fitness, the, the general concept of fitness, it's simply a measure of natural selection. When something has a higher fitness, it's being favored by natural selection. When something has a lowered fitness, natural selection is removing it from the population at a faster rate. 